It's the Wayne County Football Show with Marshall Wood and head football coach Jack Hankins. Brought to you by Extreme Guns, Alpha Insurance, Boondock Eddies, Circle C Tractor, and First State Bank. All the information you need for Wayne County football. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the uh, War Eagle Football Show with Coach Jack Hankins. How you doing, Coach? You've been running Mach 2 with your hair on yes, fire? Yes, sir, always around this time before Christmas, but uh, good to be here and, and glad we're doing the show. You know, we had this, uh, what we're fixing to talk about on our last show's agenda, but we ran out of time before we got to it, so let's, let's talk program a bit. Talk to us about the elements of your program that you're establishing here at Wayne County, and as we move through these elements let's uh, analyze where you are in implementation and also where the kids are in their understanding and involvement in the elements of uh, the War Eagle football program. Okay well that's a, that's a great question and I think Marshall is probably one of the most important things so you want to talk program and the elements of the program we have to start with our core values and uh, we talked about that you know when I got here the first week you know back in March and we rehashed them again and and Marshall, I know you're thinking, or the people may be thinking, well, why aren't you talking about football and, and zone blocking or pass blocking or, or this defense or that defense? Or that Football doesn't matter if we don't have a base, if we don't have a core value that we can stand on. And um, our core values, you're talking about the elements of it, well, there, there's five core values that we go over with our guys. And uh, we give it to them, we talk about them. And, and the first one, if you don't mind, I will share them with you, um, is accountability. Hmm. And accountability – has really very little to do with their ability, but are they at practice? You know, we don't miss practice. We don't miss weights. Practice is the most important thing we do. Mm -hmm. So they have to be here. Um, they have to be in the weight room. They have to be here in the summer. So being accountable to their coaches and their teammates is, is the first thing that they've got to that they've got to understand that's the core value of our program. And guys that can't be accountable to us won't be in the program. And that's that's sad to say, but, you know, these guys have to leave our program and be great dads one day, great husbands and great workers in the, in, in society. And if you're not accountable, if it don't matter if you're working at, at one of the paper mills close to Thomasville, you're working at the chicken far, Sanderson Farms over here, if you're not accountable and can't show up for work, then you're not going to have a job very long, which that's means true. you're probably not going to be able to keep the lights on and the water. So that, that's big. And we want all these values to extend. It's not just about right now. It's about when they get out of here. And uh, hard work's a value, uh, one of our core values. Uh, you know, we, we don't want, Marshall, we don't want anybody to outwork us. They may beat us, and it's going to happen, you know, but they're not going to outwork us. It's not going to be because we were lazy and we, we kind of sat on our laurels and just kind of sat back. Um, we're we're going we're gonna to outwork people, and we firmly, firmly believe, I know I do, you don't win games when August starts. I mean, that's crazy, right, because that's mm -hmm. when football starts. We win games, what we do, from right now until August. Mm -hmm. What we do in this small seven-month window is when we win football games. When season gets here, that's the easy part. That's the fun part. Mm -hmm. This is the hard part, the off-season grind. This is the hard. People talk about it, but a lot of people, you know, a lot of people just don't do it. Um, Marshall, another value, one of our core values is respect. <clears throat> you know, respect's – Respect is um, martial is earned. It's not given. Okay, we want to respect our teachers, our, our, our of course, our coaches. Look, but it goes further than that. We want to respect our, our custodians, our lunchroom workers, our bus drivers. Everybody, we're not better than anybody, but we're not below anybody. But we, we extend that respect to everybody we're around, you know. It don't matter if you're a starter or a backup. You know, everybody's working hard, going through the same thing. Um. You know, and I, and I make a joke about it all the time with our kids, you know, and it's about referees. We, we want to respect them guys. And that's – I've always said I don't know if I've ever met one I've liked, but we want to – even <laughs> they are in control of the game. We want to respect those guys. So, you know, being a team is one of our core values, doing what's best for the team. And we had some – and we'll talk about this on a later show. We had some extremely unselfish guys this year that stepped up and had to play another position, had to share duties. Um being what's best for the team is what we look at as coaches. I know people don't see that because when you go home, they want to do what's best for my son or my nephew mm -hmm. or my cousin. But as coaches, we have to do what's best for the football team. Mm -hmm. And I wish people knew how much time we spent analyzing and trying to figure that out. And that's still that's still a, well, a major core value. You want every kid to succeed. A absolutely. You, know, you want them to succeed. But like you say, this is a team game. 
you know, Absolutely. And, 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 you know, we may not be able to do what we want to do, mm -hmm. but uh, we better do all that we can. That's, yeah. that's right. <laughs> and that leads, like, in respect, you know, kind of the umbrella, you know, our behavior is, is part of our core values. We, we want to we want to represent our family, which is your family at home and your family here at Wayne County. We want to represent our family, you know. At, we want to represent in the most positive way we can do. We want to behave. Marshall, we've got to behave in the classroom, we got to behave on the bus rides to and from. We've got to, if and all this falls under the the cornerstone of discipline. But if if we don't have good discipline, then everything else will fail. It don't matter how much we like football. If we're not in the habit of, of being a winner and making great decisions in everything we do, then football is not going to matter. If we can do all these things that I've mentioned to you that are unfootball related, then we're going to build winners. And then we will win, mm -hmm. but it, it can't be the other way around. You know, I tell the guys all the time, and I'll, I'll leave this with this. And I, I guess you got me on my soapbox. Come on with it. We can't. Preach. We can't sit here and and be bad in school and undisciplined and not do our work and not make good grades from eight o'clock until two o'clock. And all of a sudden, two o'clock is time for football, and all, we're we're gonna be great in the football arena. No, we're not, because from eight. And to, to, so we we built six hours not making good decisions or, or being a bum or, or being lazy. Well, that's not going to just all of a sudden we built that habit for six hours. If you do that every day, five days a week, that's 30 hours you spend being not making good decisions. Well, Mark, Marshall, you're not going to turn that around and just, uh, just oh, it's football time. Let me, all of a sudden I'm going to be great right now. Yeah. Well, no, that's the habit. You, your habits become you. Yeah. yeah uh how are the kids, I mean, how big a role do they have in the administration of, of, of these elements? Like, are, do they hold each other accountable? Well, I mean, that's that, what you want to get to. Yeah. You mentioned a little bit about that yeah. last week's show about on the field stuff at Florence, you know, and how they're talking sure. and everything. So you want your kids. I'm going to tell you this Your best story. teams, Marshall, yeah. your best teams hold each other accountable. I, I remember hearing a story one time that made an impression on me. This is an Alabama story when Coach Bryant was there, and E.J. Jr., everybody knows a big defensive player, the man on that team. And there was a guy showed up named Lenny Patrick, and he was kind of a, one of the flat, first flashy mm -hmm. guys that Alabama had. And, and Coach uh, E.J. caught him wearing a headband one day, and, and he went to Coach Bryant, the story goes, it says, you know, he said, Coach Lenny's wearing a headband. He said, well, that's okay. Let, it, well, let him wear it, but just tell him to leave his, lock, his helmet in the locker room when we go out for <laughs> practice. Right. <laughs> that's funny, isn't it? Yeah. Accountability. I understand. Accountability. And just, Marshall, it's important, man. It's, we've got to do the non-football things great. Then being a great football player is easy. Coach, let me stop you for a minute, and, and, and let's don't lose track of where we are. We're going to pick up. we got to hear from some of our sponsors for a moment. We're so mm -hmm. thankful for that helped this all take place. So we're going to take a quick break to hear from some of our sponsors, and we'll be back with more with Coach Hankins right after this break. Step into the extreme, extreme guns that is, located at 711 Station Street in Waynesboro. You'll find the extreme with the area's only authorized Benelli dealer and the area's only Browning Master dealer. When we say extreme, we mean it, as we have the largest local selection of firearms. If optics is your game, Extreme Guns is an authorized dealer for Vortex Optics, along with thermal and night vision scopes in stock. In addition to firearms, optics, and ammunition, Extreme has all of your bow hunting accessories, and we can even repair your cell phone while you look around. Step into and experience the extreme. You'll be glad you did. Extreme Guns, located at 711 Station Street in Waynesboro. Once you start banking online, it all just starts to click. You get e-statements, online bill pay, 24-7 access, your whole financial picture right on your screen. Plus, with our bank, you get the local support you need to make it all work. Get clicking with online banking today. First State Bank, a better way to bank. Member FDIC. Online at firststatebnk.com. When you come out to eat with us at Boondock Eddie's, we care. We care about providing you with a pleasurable dining experience that you deserve and will be happy with. We care about the quality of food we prepare for and serve to you. We care about the service we provide if you're dining in or taking out. We care about providing you with the best food you can find anywhere. At Boondock Eddie's, we put our hearts into what we prepare for you because we care. Come out to Boondock Eddie's and see for yourself. If you're looking for a pleasurable dining experience, 
We make it happen for you because at Boondock Eddie's, we care about you. So much to do and so little time. Get it all done and do it right with Circle C Tractor. Steel products like trimmers, blowers, chainsaws, and accessories. Generate generators that are quieter than a Honda. There's only one place to go and get it all done, and that's Circle C Tractor. Located 1510 SLU Drive. Open Monday through Friday, 7 until 5, and 8 until noon on Saturday. Locally owned and operated. Call 601-735-3103. When it comes to insurance, one size does not fit all. At Alpha, our friendly hometown team will steer you in the right direction toward the protection you need at a price you can afford. We offer a variety of discounts for a variety of reasons, from your car's safety features to your history of safe driving. Call Alpha agent Mark Gordon at 735-1186. Drive away with savings today at Alpha Insurance. Welcome back, everybody. Coach, uh, I interrupted you there with an Alabama story, but let's get back and, and take, pick us up where we are in our elements of our program. Well, that's, Mar, that's where we are. You, um, we just want our kids to be great outside the football arena. We want them, to, when they leave this program, to be great husbands, to be great dads, to be great workers. And if we're building those kind of men, Marshall, then we're building champions, and we will win championships, and we'll bring this baby back to the glory days. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you this now. I talked about kids. You said that's where we want to be. And, I mean, you know, I don't want anybody to, to think that we're sitting here hammering kids. You know, oh, no. I mean, you know, I mean, this is all positive. And, you know, tell us where your kids are and how you think they're responding to to these elements. I mean, we've, we've seen some proof of it on the field, you know, at, at, at Florence at the halftime where kids stepping up in leadership roles. You know, how, how are the kids doing in buying into all of these elements? I, I think they're buying in extremely well. Um, if you know, you, you saw we replaced 20 new starters, so something had to be a cornerstone for us because we basically went out there with a new football team. Mm -hmm. uh, I think they're buying in extremely well. I think – Marshall, I've always been told, and I've always seen this through 26 years of coaching football now, you're, you're really, really good players, you're great players. They want discipline and structure. They strive to be in the grind. They strive to be part of what we're doing, and uh, the good ones will rise to this, and the good, your really good players will flourish in this type of environment. Mm -hmm. You know, in, in a type of environment, I, in my opinion, Marshall, with chaos and just – just all kind of just mass confusion going on. I don't think players thrive in that, I don't, mm -hmm. especially your good players. But uh, that's, that's, that's where we're going with the program. You know, when we first started, you kind of wanted to behind the scenes what was going on, and that's, mm -hmm. that's kind of what we're doing. You know, we're, we're trying to build great people in here first. And we got some – and this is – you know, you hear about society and people talk about this about kids and that about kids. Let me tell you something, and I want our listeners to know this too. We have got some great kids here at Wayne County High School. You hear me? Mm -hmm. We have had we have got some really good kids with really really good backgrounds, and th this is not a hard sell to them at all because mm -hmm. it just it's an attribute, you know, just to the kids we've got. They, man, we've got some good good people in this in this field house. You know, something I've learned through different management roles throughout my sixty five years is that if you're in a leadership role. You can't expect people to do what you expect them to do unless you let them know what you expect out of them. Absolutely. And I got a feeling that there's not much uh, left unexplained about what no, the expectations we, it's, are it's funny you mentioned that. We went over that not too long ago with our ninth grade and our varsity again, just expectations. And, Marshall, we'll go over when they come back. Hmm. Um, expectations. You know, if, if, I, if I know what you expect out of me, then I, I can go there and I can meet that. Mm -hmm. And I've always believed this, that kids will either live up to or down to your expectations. Yeah. And we want to set the bar high here at Wayne County because yeah. our expectations are high. Our expectations, we're not going to be satisfied if we're holding up that gold ball. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Well, listen, let's move over a little minute. And you got these expectations. you got this program established. Let's look on a day-to-day -day basis with your timing. You know, uh, you got responsibilities. you got school mm -hmm. first. and you got. How, how is your program set up over here from a coaching standpoint okay. and a time standpoint that you have here that's at high a, school? That's now? a great question. Let me tell you. I've got nothing but good things to say about our administration because they make this work. They can make this work or they can make this crumble. And our, you know, with Mr. Branch, the superintendent, Coach Hathorne at the principal spot, they're, they're making this work. So mm -hmm. as a time implementation, 
every day what we call third we're on the four day block we're on the four blocks on the five days and third block is set up for us to have nothing but freshmen it's freshman athletics on the whole campus it's not just it's everybody so everybody has a chance here to be successful but as far as football we have our freshman football players third block we're able to lit not just somebody we turn them over to at another campus we as far as the varsity coaches are able to work with our guys hands-on teaching them lifting with them spending quality time with just those guys and nobody else mm. that's crucial that's important for us to build those guys as they keep coming you know they're getting bigger and stronger and then fourth block then they go to we take those ninth graders to lunch then fourth block which is the last period of the day we have our varsity athletics you know pretty much campus wide mm. so then then we have our 10 through 12 and we're able to spend time and, and coach those guys up so timing wise as far as implementation um, and I heard it hadn't been always been like that here. I don't know. This is what we come into for the first this year. It's phenomenal, and our administration team makes that work, and we're very appreciative of that. So, time is really, really good. It's a really good way to work your kids without having to be up here all hours of the day. Uh, Coach, I, I hate to say this. I mean, we're <laughs> we're about out of time again, you know, and uh, we appreciate you taking time with us uh the old horns are about to blow so we got to go and uh we just i guess we want to miss wish everybody a, a, a merry christmas and a, and a happy new that's year. that's right all the all the people in war eagle nation marshall we want to wish them a, a merry christmas and a happy new year there you have it folks happy holidays y'all and we will see you tuesday january the 4th at 6 30 right here on wabo and remember to check us out uh, the replays on our on our YouTube channel, uh, Wayne County Football Mississippi, and subscribe to that, and uh, that's right, and, and 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 subscribe to it, and hit the hit the bell so you'll get alerts, so you'll get alerts every time we post something on there, and you can keep up with it all. So that does it for today, War Eagle Football. We out. Step into the extreme, extreme guns that is, located at 711 Station Street in Waynesboro. You'll find the extreme with the area's only authorized Benelli dealer and the area's only Browning Master dealer. When we say extreme, we mean it, as we have the largest local selection of firearms. If optics is your game, Extreme Guns is an authorized dealer for Vortex Optics, along with thermal and night vision scopes in stock. In addition to firearms, optics, and ammunition, Extreme has all of your bow hunting accessories, and we can even repair your cell phone while you look around. Step into and experience the extreme. You'll be glad you did. Extreme Guns, located 711 Station Street in Waynesboro. Once you start banking online, it all just starts to click. You get e-statements, online bill pay, 24-7 access, your whole financial picture right on your screen. Plus, with our bank, you get the local support you need to make it all work. Get clicking with online banking today. First State Bank, a better way to bank. Member FDIC. Online at firststatebnk.com. When you come out to eat with us at Boondock Eddie's, we care. We care about providing you with a pleasurable dining experience that you deserve and will be happy with. We care about the quality of food we prepare for and serve to you. We care about the service we provide if you're dining in or taking out. We care about providing you with the best food you can find anywhere. At Boondock Eddie's, we put our hearts into what we prepare for you because we care. Come out to Boondock Eddie's and see for yourself. If you're looking for a pleasurable dining experience, we make it happen for you because at Boondock Eddie's, we care about you. So much to do and so little time. Get it all done and do it right with Circle C Tractor. Steel products like trimmers, blowers, chainsaws, and accessories. Generac generators that are quieter than a Honda. There's only one place to go and get it all done, and that's Circle C Tractor. Located 1510 Azalea Drive. Open Monday through Friday, 7 until 5, and 8 until noon on Saturday. Locally owned and operated. Call 601-735-3103. When it comes to insurance, one size does not fit all. At Alpha, our friendly hometown team will steer you in the right direction toward the protection you need at a price you can afford. We offer a variety of discounts for a variety of reasons, from your car's safety features to your history of safe driving. Call Alpha agent Mark Gordon 
at 735-1186. Drive away with savings today at Alpha Insurance. Thanks for listening to Wayne County Football Show, brought to you by Extreme Guns, Alpha Insurance, Boondock Eddies, Circle C Tractor, and First State Bank.